You often hear about street gangs, but prison gangs, not very much. The Gangsta Disciples was one of the most feared gangs that ran the streets of Chicago from prison. In today's video, we'll be finding out about the Gangsta Disciples and what really led to their end. The Gangsta Disciples are a criminal gang that was formed on the south side of Chicago in the late 1960s. In order to know how this gang met its end, it's important to know how the gang made its stance in Chicago as its origin is vital to its end. So let's jump right in to see. The Gangsta Disciples came to be after two gangs merged, the High Life Supreme Gangsters, which was led by Larry Hoover, and the Devil's Disciples, which was led by David Barksdale. In 1969, David Barksdale proposed that both gangs be merged in order for them to reduce the rate of violence and warfare among the gangs in Chicago. Barksdale made an offer to Hoover that they both run the organization by sharing equal power as well as the title King. The Black Gangsta Disciple Nation was born from that merger. Also, for the first time in Chicago gang history, the gang leaders were referred to as Kings. The Gangsta Disciples thrived as an organization in a society as they participated in community service, development of schools, politics, and many more. Like many other gangs, the Gangsta Disciples hoist the colors blue and black. The gang members are known to wear Georgetown Hoyas or Duke Blue Devils outfits. They often wear Chicago Bulls, Chicago White Sox, and other teams clothing from their original city, though they don't always match the colors. They're also represented by a black flag or bandana. The Gangsta Disciples have a predominant symbol, which is the six-pointed star of David, symbolizing the gang's principles, love, life, loyalty, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The gang was formed by two men, David Barksdale and Larry Hoover, and they were both regarded as the kings of the Black Gangsta Disciple Nation. However, there were other positions in the gang that was regarded as leadership positions. The Gangsta Disciples gang is found to be highly structured, with a hierarchy of leadership posts, which they call positions of authority or POAs. Members are organized in different positions, including board groups and governor of governors, who each control geographic region. King David Barksdale was born on May 24, 1974. He was born in Mississippi, but he moved to Chicago with his parents in 1947. It was here that King David was introduced to gang life. Sadly, he passed in 1974 from kidney failure as a result of gunshot wounds which he sustained while in a rival gang fight in 1969. As a symbol of remembrance and honor, the Black Gangsta Disciples Nation adopted the six-point Jewish star, also known as the Star of David. They also adopted the symbol of a pitchfork pointing up. After King David's death, the leadership of the Black Gangsta Disciples Nation was taken over by King Larry Hoover and King Jerome Shorty Freeman. Together, Hoover and Shorty divided the Black Gangsta Disciples Nation into two factions. The Black Gangsta Disciples, which was led by Larry Hoover, and the Black Gangsters, led by Shorty Freeman. Larry Hoover, who was also known as King Larry, was born on November 30, 1950, in Mississippi, but moved to Chicago with his parents when he turned four years old. By the age of 13, Larry was already a member of a street gang, Supreme Gangsters, that engaged in theft and mugging. As he aged, Larry began to get involved in assaults and shootings. He soon became the leader of the Supreme Gangsters, and he remained so until 1969 when he merged powers with Barksdale to form the Black Gangsta Disciples Nation. Hoover wasn't on the streets for a long time, as he and another gangster disciple, Andrew Howard, were charged with the murder of a drug dealer, William Young, on February 26, 1973. In 1998, Larry Hoover was given a life sentence to spend 150 to 200 years in prison. In July of 2020, Hoover pleaded for a sentencing break under the First Step Act, a law that Donald Trump signed in 2018. However, the district judge denied Hoover's plea, stating that he is one of the most notorious criminals in Illinois history. Also, at the time Hoover made his plea, he had just appointed two gang leaders of the Gangsta Disciples gang, and the judge got to know about it. He used his evidence against Hoover's plea. He's currently serving his sentence at the United States Penitentiary Administrative Maximum Facility in Florence, Colorado. He's serving his sentence in isolation and can do little more than read books. Jerome Freeman, who's also known as King Shorty, was a close associate with King David, and it's believed that King David introduced him to gang life in the 60s. After Barksdale's death, Shorty took over as the crown king of the Black Gangsters. Life wasn't as easy for Shorty, but unlike King Larry, he enjoyed the free world for some time. Shorty was in and out of prison as an adult. In 1977, Shorty was convicted of armed robbery and he served five years in prison. In 1985, Shorty was locked up once again, only to be later acquitted on federal weapons charges stemming from a raid of his home at 114th and Vincennes that turned out to be a sawed-off shotgun. In 1989, Freeman was sentenced to 28 years on drug charges. After pleading to the authorities for a release in 2001 and assuring them that he had abandoned the gang life, Shorty was released in 2005. Many people doubted that he was a changed man. However, according to T.O. Hardiman, head of Ceasefire Illinois, Shorty became a peace advocate, especially in Inglewood, where he carried out most of his criminal operations for decades. Hardiman said, He told me he had awakening in prison. He understood all the carnage he was involved in for decades, but he got tired of seeing all the young brothers ending up in the penitentiary. Before he left planet Earth, he wanted to make a positive difference. Jerome Freeman remained King Shorty until he died in 2012. According to authorities, he was suspected but never convicted of ordering dozens of murders. After the death of King Barksdale, also known as King David, the Black Gangsta Disciples Nation was divided into two factions. The Black Gangsta Disciples, which was ruled by King Larry, and the Black Gangsters, which was ruled by King Shorty. However, these two leaders weren't always present with the gang members. 
King Larry was sentenced to life imprisonment, so he couldn't be on the streets leading the gang. This, however, didn't stop him from being the king, as he formed a gangster disciples in prison and carried out operations from the walls of his prison. King Larry's power seemed to grow stronger within the prison walls. He started protecting other inmates, especially new inmates, who in turn became devotees and new recruits of the gangster disciples. It didn't take a while before the warden realized King Larry's control over the other prisoners. King Larry is said to live a luxurious life in prison, one with fancy pieces of jewelry, new clothes, specially prepared meals, and private visitations from friends and family. According to reports, he still holds gang meetings in the prison, and authorities once wiretaped his private visitations, and they learned that he was running the Gangster Disciples group from within the prison system. As for King Shorty, before his death, he was in and out of prison, and he often spent years on a sentence. So, he had to carry on business from within the prison walls. While in prison, he continued to give gang orders from inside maximum security walls. Inside, he was followed around by gang bodyguards and held gang meetings in the prison chapel. With the Gangster Disciples' two leaders in prison, there was no way the gang wasn't going to make it to the safe walls of prison. And with King Larry still alive, the Gangster Disciples will remain a prison gang for a while and they may have a new king in prison if King Larry dies. The Gangster Disciples lost their goal when they began dealing drugs on a larger scale. Due to their drug trade, loyalty shifted. Some of the gang members started using, and others who didn't use the drugs were off dealing drugs. Many of the members became what they referred to as walking dead as they were in and out of jail and prison for one criminal offense or another. However, the real end of the Gangster Disciples came after 32 members of the Gangster Disciples were arrested in 2016 on RICO, Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, charges by federal agents. New since 5 o'clock, we have new videos showing one of 32 suspected gang members arrested across the metro area. Of being part of a vast criminal conspiracy involving the notorious street gang, the Gangster Disciples. A former Atlanta area police officer was arrested among the 32 gang members. According to reports, he was a hitman for the gang. The indictment alleges that Gangster Disciples members committed 10 murders, 12 attempted murders, 2 robberies, the extortion of rap artists to force artists to become affiliated with the Gangster Disciples, and fraud resulting in losses of over $450,000. In addition, the Gangster Disciples trafficked in large amounts of <laughs> Also, in January 2021, seven alleged members of the Gangster Disciples, including national and state leaders of the gang, were indicted on charges of racketeering, murder and aided racketeering, attempted murder and aided racketeering, and weapons charges. Most of the people arrested held leadership positions in the gang. After their arrest, the Gangster Disciples went solo and not much has been heard from them. However, an unfortunate mass shooting happened in Inglewood, Chicago in 2021. A car pulled up at a funeral home and at least two gunmen inside opened fire. 15 people were wounded with no reported fatalities. The funeral was for a victim who was killed a week before the shooting and was allegedly involving a dispute between two Gangster Disciples factions. The last disciple, as we may call him, is Louis Mobley. Mobley, who's a Gangster Disciple Enforcer, was sentenced to 40 years in prison after a jury found him guilty of RICO conspiracy, attempted murder and aid of racketeering, and use of a firearm to commit a crime. His charges are tied to the shooting of a minor who sustained gunshot wounds to the chest after he was shot by Mobley for interrupting the filming of a gang rap video. According to the statement from the authorities, the Gangster Disciples destroyed communities all across the United States. The gang's criminal activity in Atlanta included the killing of innocent people, brazen shootings, and prolific drug trafficking, said acting U.S. Attorney Kurt R. Erskine. These horrific acts and the victims lost and injured will not soon be forgotten. Our community remains united and our law enforcement partners are committed to making sure this type of crippling criminal activity is met with our best investigative and prosecutorial effort. We understand that the sentences issued in this case will not mend the hearts of those who lost loved ones to the crimes of the Gangster Disciples, but we do believe they'll make our community safer. In total, 38 members of the Gangster Disciples have been sentenced in the case. Convicted gang members include the highest ranks of Gangster Disciples leaders from Alabama, Colorado, Georgia, Kansas, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and California. The 38 members who were sentenced received sentences ranging from life imprisonment, several years, as well as a couple months. Now that the streets have been rid of these gang leaders and their members, the prison walls will certainly receive them as Gangster Disciples has grown beyond the gang, but into a prison gang as well. The Gangster Disciples are active in 110 cities and in 31 states, mostly in the Midwestern and Southeastern United States. The gang also maintains a strong presence in the U.S. prison system. The gang has approximately 50,000 and 90,000 members. The Gangster Disciples first emerged in significant numbers in Memphis, Tennessee in the 1980s, and they're regarded as the first modern street gang to do so. 